Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're brand new here, I'm Stav, and this is She Equips Herself. My husband and I are here at Mass Firearm School today in Holliston, and we're going to test out two Smith & Wesson handguns that they sent me to test out. I'm really excited to show you what we think of them. And I just wanted to tell you guys, if you're in Massachusetts and you're looking for a range, Mass Firearm School is great. They have all sorts of guns you can rent out, you can try them out before you buy anything, and they also have an awesome shop where you can purchase firearms as well. So if you're looking for a range, they have great classes here, um, they have basic safety courses every single day, so check them out. I'll include a link to their website in the description below. <laughs> Okay, so like I mentioned, Smith & Wesson was nice enough to send me two firearms totally free of charge to test out. This is the the MNP EZ in, it's this one, the 30 Super Carry. And then they also sent us an equalizer in 9mm. So we decided to test them out against a couple similar guns that we borrowed from Mass Firearms School. And so the equalizer we're going to compare with the Shield Plus, which one's this? The 9 and the 30 super carry and then the EZ 30 super carry we're going to compare with the same gun in two different calibers so a 9 and a 380. So first we're going to shoot the equalizer in 9 millimeter against the shield plus in 9 millimeter. So a fun fact about the equalizer is that it takes shield magazines. So these are shield mags that we're going to use in both of these firearms and I'm going to start with the shield. Okay. Shield. I'm gonna fire a few shots slow at first. Okay, here we go. Okay, now same thing with the equalizer. Hmm. The equalizer was a little more comfortable to shoot. Really? Yeah. It seemed, it felt like it recoiled a little less. Curious to see what you think of it. Let's have Mac try it. All right, let's have Mac try it and see what he thinks. You started with this? I started with the shield. <clears throat> okay, here he goes. Okay, now the equalizer. First impressions, Macquarie. I'm gonna agree with you. I think the equalizer has less snap. Yeah. On, on the weapon. I don't know what the weights are. We have to look up the weights. Yeah. But I absolutely, I prefer the trigger on the shield. Yeah. Uh, hmm. We'll have to try that again. <laughs> hey, Max said he liked the trigger on the shield better. Um, and for some reason, when I shot mine, I liked the equalizer better, but I'm gonna pay more attention to it now, and we're gonna do a one-hole drill with each firearm, and I'll pay closer attention to the trigger. Not my best work. <laughs> okay, let's do the same with the equalizer. I 
I mean, I don't know. I feel like I like the equalizer's trigger better. But you try it. Let's see what you think. Da 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 at the lemonade stand. Run in the stand. He said, hey. Okay, go ahead. This is one whole drill with the shield. Nice. It looks like a slug went through it. <laughs> I wish it looked like a nine mil went through it. <laughs> it's good though. <laughs> They're all touching. I feel like I need to do that one again. I definitely, definitely threw one. So okay. I'm gonna do one just below it because I think that's unfair. All right. So you did two with the equalizer. Yeah, that's the shield. That's the first equalizer. This bottom one was what kind of threw me off uh -huh. mentally, but it seems like I was stringing them. And then that's the second equalizer. Mm -hmm. So I'm not seeing uh, a noticeable difference. How did the triggers feel to you just now? You might be right. You might be right. The, the equalizer trigger might be better. Mm. I'm just not used to it. So yeah. I think we have to do like a... A little bit Faster. more shooting and then maybe some speed drills or, or a couple rhythm drills. Okay. Okay, now we're going to do a five shot rhythm fire drill with, I'll start with the shield and then do the equalizer. Okay. Shield first. That's actually an excellent point. Let's just do the three. Okay. You know so what happened? What happened? You didn't release it enough? <laughs> so what happened there was I didn't release the trigger forward enough. So I couldn't fire again. Maybe the spring is lighter. The return spring is lighter. Maybe. Let's do it again. Just a quick talking point. Uh, in the past, I've talked a lot about sticking to one gun. Mm. And that's my point right there. Stav just illustrated it. She didn't release the trigger far enough. Different return spring, different trigger weights, even though it's a Smith & Wesson, Smith & Wesson. That type of stuff, under no stress, can screw you up. Under high stress, can get you killed. So, just think about that, you know. That's why, that's why I really feel it's so important to stick with one or maybe two firearms and not have a bunch because things like that happen all the time. Let's do it again. Stav wants another run at it. Again with the equalizer. So this was definitely from the shield. That was the shield. But those two that was were, the equalizer. were the equalizer. Either way, though, you're putting them all on paper. The difference in recoil wasn't as obvious shooting fast. I didn't really notice the difference there. But the trigger was, that's, that's not a trigger I'm used to. So that's something, like Mac just mentioned, that's something to be aware of. All right, Mac's going to do a rhythm fire drill with the shield first. group. Three in one hole. I'm going to move a little bit to the right. Okay. So you can see the difference. That's so good. What do you mean? I'm, 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 <laughs> He's overly critical of himself. That's but. the equalizer. <laughs> yeah. That's the shield. Uh huh. The reason why I made the face is because I'm kind of digging the equalizer. Oh. <laughs> I didn't expect to dig the equalizer. Yeah. Okay, next we're gonna do five shots at 50 feet, slow. Starting with the shield again. Should I aim for the hips? I'd go right in the middle, I marked them all. Okay. All right, let's see if I can keep them all on the paper. Okay. 
Want me to bring it in? Oh my gosh. <laughs> you know what happened here? Oh, way off. Is that a Michael? Yeah. Oh, sorry. One, two, three, four, five. It's funny that you go this way. No, like you went this way and I went this way. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what that means. <laughs> you think psychologically. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to do the same thing with the equalizer. <laughs> See that almost flinch? They're all very much to the left. Much tighter group though. Yeah. Okay, 50 feet with the shield. He never misses. No misses. Where are you seeing the five shots? Uh, one, two. Could the rest be in here? Is that I, three? I think I have to do it again. Okay. Okay, we put up a fresh target and he's gonna do that again because we couldn't tell if his shots all went in that one hole that was in the middle. They probably did. <laughs> You guys know that student in school who always thinks he failed a test and then he gets an A plus? That's Mac. <laughs> Let's try it again. They're all in the small circle. Oh. <laughs> That's a long shot. So, one, two, three, four, five with you the shield. An interesting pattern. So that was the shield. Now he's gonna do the same thing with the equalizer. seems to recoil less in your hand. Hmm? It looks like it recoils less in your hand. It is, but it's a bigger gun. Yeah. So, definitely not doing well with that trigger. I did not feel like I did that. Oh. So, <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Gross. <laughs> it still hit the silhouette. Gross. So negative. <laughs> Now we're gonna switch and go to the Shield EZ series. So we've got the 9, the 30 Super Carry, and the 380. So we're gonna do a little comparison, see how those compare. I know a lot of you guys enjoy the EZ series. So if you're unfamiliar with the EZ series, they call it the EZ, like the letters EZ, because they're supposed to be easier to manipulate. Um, one of the things is that their magazines have these tabs on the side so they can, you can load them easier, just like a 22 magazine might have. And they have a slide that's easier to rack. They're easier to manipulate. That's what they, that's what Smith & Wesson designed these for. So we're gonna compare the three different calibers we have here. So I'm starting with the nine. That's what we normally shoot. We're just gonna start with this caliber to get a baseline and then we'll go 30 super carry and then 380 because the 30 super carry falls somewhere in between the 380 and the nine. So it's closer to the nine. Okay. I'm just gonna try to keep these all in the head. So 
I managed to keep those all in the head. The recoil is not bad at all. So let's try with the 30 Super Carry. I'm gonna keep aiming for the head. Hopefully I won't miss. Bring that in, babe. There's my group with the nine millimeter. Okay, it's a max turn with the easies. It's gonna start with right, the nine, just like nine. I did. Here we go. Here we go. Very nice, that's the nine millimeter shield easy. Okay. 30 super. 30 super. Excellent group. Okay. And now he'll do the 380. Like a sad face, but another really good group. <laughs> I look scared. So, uh, what'd you think? This is the 380. Mm -hmm. this is the super. This is the super. All right, I could say without a doubt that I think the 30 super recoils less than the nine. Mm -hmm. and that's Pretty interesting because I, I I haven't seen that opinion that much on the internet, but I think it's in that particular gun. It's yeah. very noticeable, mm -hmm. and the ballistics on it are pretty solid. So it makes me like that gun. It makes me like that caliber. Yeah. You get more bullets, and it's, it's not quite a nine, but it's it's ballistically superior to a 380 mm -hmm. by a lot. It's more comfortable to shoot than a nine. Not quite as comfy as the 380. Mm -hmm. I like it. I think that that's a really good, a good setup right there. That 30 Super EZ for anybody. I don't. I was gonna. I was gonna limit it for hand strength and all that stuff as to why the EZ is invented. But the truth is, that, that shot great. I want to shoot that again. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna do five shots out of each rhythm fire, starting with the nine.
All right, Max is gonna do rhythm fire starting with the nine. Easy. Very easy to control. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go with the uh, 30 super. Look at those little holes. Any little holes. So, one, two, three, four. Somewhere in there, maybe here. Five. Maybe. Oh, yeah, it's that one. And. 380. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go in the belly just okay. to give us a little more room. Very good group. Mm -hmm. What'd you think? Shooting fast. Okay, this is uh, this is a kind of an easy, easy decision for me at this point. I think. Uh huh. The 380 Easy is without question the comfiest gun to shoot. It's yeah. the best if you have any type of recoil control problems, hand strength, whatever. I go with the, the 380. It would, it's going to, you're going to be very happy with it. It's a great little shooter. I want to spend more time with that one. Mm -hmm. The 9 Easy is fine. I get zero complaints for it. But I think if you're not a very you don't shoot a lot of rounds, and the price of the ammunition of the nine versus the three, uh, the thirty super doesn't scare you away. I really like that thirty super. I think mm -hmm. that that, especially if you live in a state that allows their citizens to carry freely, you're going to have ours. more more ammunition, a slightly more comfortable cartridge to shoot. Um, ballistically, almost as good. There's a lot, a lot going on there. I, I'm, we're going to have to spend more time with this thirty super. Uh, it's mm -hmm. an intriguing caliber. Yeah. I think Federal, I think Federal's onto something with this. It's kind of a nice, mm -hmm. just bring it off the nine a little bit, make the make those smaller guns a slightly more comfortable to shoot, add a few rounds. Yeah, I'm I'm very interested in shooting this 30 Super more. All right, guys, I'm here with Cena. You might remember him from our ra uh, our gun shop etiquette video that actually did very well on my channel. Thank you, Cena. You're very welcome. <laughs> so if somebody wants to come to the shop, you guys have the equalizer and the EZ and 30 Super Carry? We do have them available, yes. They've got plenty of firearms here for you guys to check out. They can handle them here as well. They can, mm -hmm. yeah. And they also have a ton of firearms that you can rent out in the range. So check out Mass Firearm School in Holliston. Thank you, Cena. No problem. Thank you. Hey guys, we're back at the house now. Uh, Mac had a few thoughts on the guns that he wanted to share now that we're here sitting down and you can actually hear us without that big fan in the room. So what have you got for us? Well, upon further inspection, and I, I guess I should have been more up to speed on these two guns, I'm comparing the EZ to the Equalizer. And it appears to me that they're basically almost the same gun. Um, the bottoms or the receivers are very, very, very similar. They take different magazines, but I mean the design of them, the shape of them, the trigger pull on them, everything seems to be the same. The slides are different. And I think that what they did is they just stepped up their game. I think that Smith & Wesson, they put a plate on here so you could put red dot sights on there and they really had a super aggressive slide serrations to help people out yeah, when they nice. do it yeah it's it's i i think the slide serrations are, are nice uh the amount of pressure it takes to work the slide on the equalizer is almost exactly the same on the easy the only difference that i can see is that when they went to the shield magazines they lost that capability on the side of the magazine that was kind of like an easy thing where you can pull down the, the follower tabs, yeah. with your thumb. And what they did is in the box, they have a loader. So if I were in the market for a shield, I would look at the equalizer. Uh, sorry, if I was in the market for an EZ series firearm, I would absolutely look at the equalizer 
as an option for that because it's a, it's a double stack shield. I mean, it's a double, it's because it's a double stacked EZ essentially. Mm -hmm. You're gonna have basically the same firearm with more rounds available to you and more aggressive texture or more aggressive slide serration so you get a better hold of it. It, it seems like it's a better EZ to me. I don't think they make it in, uh, in 380 though. Mm -hmm. If they do, that's news to me. They make it in 9 and they make it in 30 Super. But I think it's a step up. It's also not a great match to argue with when it comes to the shield. The shield is actually a little, you know, it's, it's a couple ounces smaller. It's a shorter barrel by about a half an inch. And it's narrower. So the shield versus the equalizer is not a great comparison. If you need a smaller gun, you carry a smaller gun, the shield is probably still your, your top choice but it's significantly more difficult to work the slide, without question. And the slide serrations are nowhere near as aggressive. So... But the equalizer and the EZ, I'd say the slide is just as easy to work on either of them. They're the EZ and the equalizer. I would yeah. say they have that, I'm willing to bet you they have the same recoil spring. I'd say this, this action right here is pretty much exactly the same to that action right there. But when you get a standard shield in your hand you can ask me that that's a significant difference it's a very noticeable difference on that slide there mm -hmm. also just so you know smith and wesson screwed up their web uh, their web page um it says that the width of the equalizers is 1.04 that cannot be accurate because the width of the shield is 1.1 and the shield is significantly narrower so what i can show you is the width of the shield and the width of the equalizer the width of the equalizer and the width of the shield are not the same mm. they are noticeably maybe they meant 1.4 1. 1. 1. but they didn't write 1.04 yeah so this is the equalizer and that's the shield yeah and you can see that the shield is significantly narrower yeah so that's a nine that's the 30 Super Carry and then the 380, so you guys can see the difference in what the rounds look like. The 30 Super Carry with that narrower profile, which is basically a 31 caliber projectile, allows you to carry more ammunition. Mm -hmm. uh, the negative side of it is it's, it's a 100 grain bullet. So it's a 100 grain full metal jacket or so far a 100 grain uh, hollow point. So that's you know, if you don't mind that, that's fine. But like, generally speaking, the heavier the bullet, the more penetration you get. So, so the fear of the 30 Super Carry, I think that I would have is, how does it perform ballistically? How, do, you know, how good is it? It, it? I'm sure Federal did a lot of testing and fired it into all different forms of ballistic gelatin. And that's fine. That's good. I like looking at that stuff too. It's just that, you know, I'm not really worried about a ballistic gelatin block attacking me. Human beings are not made of ballistic gelatin. They're not supposed to be. A lot of people get confused and they think that because a bullet performs in ballistic gelatin, it's gonna perform a certain way on actual tissue. That's not the case. It's just that it's a good unit of measure. It's a very consistent way to test bullets. So here's the thing. The lighter the bullet, the less it generally penetrates. So like for me, I always like heavy for caliber. I prefer to carry a 147 grain nine millimeter when I carry nine millimeter. When I carry to 45, I carry 230 grains. When I carry to 40 cal, I carried 180 grains. Might've been 185, I'm getting confused with that too, but I carried the heavier of the bullets because I wanted that extra penetration. So the 100 grain 30 super carry, it's going about 1,100, 1,200 feet per second coming out of most handguns that it's designed in right now. It's probably going to expand really well because it's federal and they make great bullets. That AHST is one of my all-time favorite bullets. So it's going to expand. The question is, will it travel far enough after it expands? And I think it's just so new, it's hard to say just yet. The 9mm does great. Um, the 380 doesn't. I carry. I do not carry hollow points when I carry a 380 because I'm scared that it won't penetrate far enough. And penetration is extra, you know, the most important aspect of, of handgun wounding, wounding factors. So mm. it shoots good. It carries good. I like it. it just <laughs> it's just so new. It's scary. Thank you so much to Smith and Wesson for sending us these guns to test out. We had a lot of fun shooting them. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let us know your thoughts below, and we'll see you in the next one. Stay safe. Bye.